I had always wanted to build rides from an early age. We built small rides in the backyard, like for hot wheel cars, or I'd you know push my siblings around in a wheelbarrow. And I knew my brother Michael had a lot of technical experience and knowledge. And I figured now was the perfect time to put together the team to assemble this roller coaster. This is a, uh, a section of the first version of the track that we did. Um, as you can see, we did it at a PVC pipe and two by fours. Um, and this version was a little different than um, the backyard roller coasters, the, at least the PVC ones that had existed up to that point because we decided for whatever brilliant reason to change a system that already worked and make it different. The day that we decided to switch to steel was the day the cart derailed. Because part of the reason why it would derailed was that the track was so flexible that it would bend and, and you know, you'd have narrower parts where you didn't want it to be narrower um, and the, it, it didn't keep the cart on the track very well. So yeah, so we decided to switch to steel. We bought all the steel um, from a local um, steel supplier. And then we, um, we came up with, with this design, which we've stuck with because it's worked really well. Um, so it's, it's basically just two inch and a half steel tubes with um, a three quarter inch square tube as a tie in between. Um, yeah, there's grass on it here, yeah. This is, obviously we, we took this directly off the ride. Um, we'll put it back after the interview. Yeah, so the, the hard part about using steel though is the, the fact that you're forming it ahead of time. You can't just bend it as you go. You actually have to, you know, bend it, then check your, um, to make sure your curves are right. Um, and it's one thing when you're just making a ride and seeing where it takes you. It's another thing when you have to form it to fit in tunnels and things. Okay, so the way that we had to bend the steel, you can't just bend it by hand because it'll kink. So I modified a, um, a Harbor Freight tube roller. One of the issues with this tool was I didn't realize how strong it was. And so we had a lot of sections of track that I overbent. And so I had to, you know, just go very, very slowly, which is annoying. But if, if you, it, it can't, it does have the delicacy to take it very slowly. Um, and uh, it's a pretty, you know, it, it worked out really well. Um, it's not the prettiest contraption, but it, it, it's effective. <laughs> 